Have you been trying to lose weight, but you are not having much success? If you are, then you are definitely not alone. I found out that there are certain foods we eat daily that keeps us away from that goal. In this video, we are going to go over 10 foods that you need to limit or eliminate if you want to have that success. I tried cutting down on or eliminating these foods for three months and this helped me move from size A to size B just within three months. Hey guys, you're welcome to Josie's Cuisine. Today, we are not doing any cooking. We will be talking. I am going to be sharing with you some foods that you must cut down on or eliminate completely if you want to lose weight or stay healthy. Whether you want to lose weight or stay healthy, I believe that you can eat almost everything. But then, I guess you must have heard about the phrase portion control. You need to as well focus on the quality of your food rather than on the quantity. The mistake that most people make is that they just focus on the quantity of their food and neglect quality. I believe that if you focus on the quality of your food, you can still eat well and still lose weight and maintain a healthy weight. Making healthy eating a lifestyle is just the best thing you can do for yourself. Many people eat healthy because they want to achieve a short-term goal like losing weight or reversing a health condition. Making healthy eating a lifestyle is more sustainable and healthier for the overall well-being of your body so that you will keep seeing results all the time so you will stop fluctuating in weight and just maintain a healthy weight so living healthy never ends it is something you keep doing over and over i know it is easier said than done trust me it is one of the most difficult things to do but the good thing is that it is just difficult but not impossible and considering the benefits of healthy living, trust me, it is worth doing. You might struggle from the beginning. And once you have made up your mind to make healthy eating a part of your life, you will definitely do it successfully. I eat almost everything, but I pay attention to the quantity of food I am eating, what time of the day I am eating, and I equally try as much as possible to exercise. When I just started, I was struggling. But after two weeks, it became so easy and it's now a lifestyle. Once you understand the benefits, it will become very easy for you to do. Without much ado, let me share with you the foods that you need to cut down on or eliminate completely if you want to lose weight, maintain a healthy weight, or stay healthy. The first thing on my list is fries. And when I talk about fries... I don't just mean French fries. I am referring to everything we fry, like plantains, potatoes, yams, etc. When you eat a lot of fries, what happens is that your body converts it into sugar and it is stored as fat, especially around your midsection area. This happens when you are overindulged in fries. I personally love plantain fries, so what I do is portion control or you can look for alternative methods of cooking like air frying or grilling. These foods are already high in carbs, so deep frying them in lots of oil makes them unhealthy and will definitely lead to weight gain. Even after using healthier methods of cooking like air frying or grilling, you still have to portion control. And what you can supplement to make you feel fuller for a longer period of time is to add vegetables. The fiber in the vegetables will definitely keep you fuller. So cut down on fries or eliminate some completely and augment with lots and lots of vegetables. The second food on my list is bread. I know deep within your mind, you know that bread must be found on this list. Bread is made up of lots of refined flour, fat and sugar. Trust me, it is one food that adds nothing to your body most especially because it has no fiber in it since bread has no fiber it doesn't have the tendency to keep you full for long so you will find out that after eating bread 
you will still feel hungry after a short while. Some people eat a whole loaf of bread at a go. And as you know, bread is not just eaten without a compliment. So you either need to pair it with some hot chocolate or what we locally call tea, some butter, mayonnaise, margarine, soda, cheese, and so on and so forth. So imagine the bread already has so much carbohydrates and adding absolutely no nutrients to your body. Then pairing it up with all this is causing a lot of harm to your body. Please stop causing harm to your body. Even if you must eat bread, stick to one or two slices. Or you eat whole wheat bread or oatmeal bread and still stick to one or two slices. I know at this point, some people are already making faces, but we must continue. The third food on my list is fizzy drinks or soda drinks. You know those drinks that when you open, they make the sound ch. I will not call names, but I know you understand. All these drinks provide Temporary satisfaction, but your body does not recognize them as food. And because of this, they don't have the ability to keep you full at all. These drinks are actually made up of sugar, gas, and color. That's what you are drinking. So after drinking soda, you will find out that you are still very hungry. And you eventually end up overeating. So cutting down tremendously on sodas can make you lose a good amount of weight or maintain a healthy weight. When I say cut down, I don't mean you drink two or three bottles as opposed to six or seven bottles you used to drink. What I mean is you should reduce it to the barest minimum, like taking a glass or two once in two weeks. If you know what is put in those drinks, I assure you, you will never want to drink them again, no matter the satisfaction they provide. And don't forget that this satisfaction is just temporary. So why not drink water and be okay? Some people are now staring at me with one eye. Let's proceed. Please help your body to heal and live longer by cutting down tremendously on these fizzy or soda drinks. The next food on my list is ice cream. Ice cream is made from heavy cream, loaded with sugar and incredibly dense in fat content. If you find it difficult to cut down on it, then you can substitute commercially prepared ice cream with the low-fat ones. And when I say low-fat ice cream, I definitely mean you have to make it yourself at home. So make yours at home so you can control the type and quantity of sugars added. And make sure you use mostly natural ingredients. It is always very easy to eat a lot of ice cream at a go. So if you must eat, please serve in a smaller bowl. Are you getting value from this video? Please hit the like button to help the algorithm push out this video to the right people. It is very important. Please like this video. Next on my list is fruit juices. We have the natural fruit juice and the processed packaged juices as well. Let's start with the natural juices. Natural fruit juices contain very high amounts of natural sugars and if taken in large quantities, it may lead to weight gain. What happens here is that when you juice a fruit, you are taking the juice away from the pulp and it is the pulp that contains the fiber which is so so important for your body to function well. So you are actually separating and discarding the most important part of the fruit. So cut down on the quantity of fruit juice you take or if possible, eat the whole fruit instead of juicing it. The packaged processed fruit juices contain lots and lots of artificial sugars and preservatives. The amount of sugar added in processed juices is enough to discourage you from buying them. But wait though, can you believe it is always written on the pack 100% natural juice? no sugars added what a lie in fact i call this a legal lie and the so-called name of fruit they claim to use let's say pineapple juice or orange juice what they actually do is they put pineapple or orange concentrates oh my god you guys really need to know more about these processed juices i bet you you never want to consume them again so please cut down or eliminate these juices 
and just drink water and be fine. Or better still, add some lime or lemon juice to your drinking water and you will just be fine. The next food on my list is pizza. I know this will get me into trouble, but I will still say it. Pizza is very high in calories because it is usually made from refined flours and processed meat. And because of that, it is easy to overeat it. Pizza is just a perfect combination of carbs and unhealthy fats. And that is what gets us into trouble. If you are a lover of pizza, then consider making yours at home with healthier ingredients. And when I say healthier ingredients, I mean using flours like whole grain flour. A good example is oatmeal flour. That is just the best. And then replace all the processed meats with natural meat. And equally introduce lots and lots of vegetables to make the pizza healthier. Next on my list is alcohol, specifically beer. Beer is just like soda or sugary drinks. It has lots and lots of carbohydrates. Excessive consumption of beer will affect your sugar level and trigger insulin resistance. So if you want to lose weight, maintain a healthy weight or stay healthy, consider cutting down on alcohol, most especially beer. This is a tough one, right? Oh yes, I know it gives satisfaction, but don't forget that satisfaction is just temporary. The next food on my list is dessert. You see all these sweet, cute, little, beautiful things? Many can't resist the temptation of dessert. Resist it, my dear. Nothing will happen to you if you don't eat it. When I say dessert, I mean things like cakes, donuts, sweets, chocolates, in fact, candies in general, and so on and so forth. Just the names sound so sweet, but hey, it's not doing any good to your body. Cut down or eliminate them completely. When you go for an event, you can skip them and focus on the main meal. When your body is leading you towards sweet things, please lead it back towards vegetables and other foods that add value to your body. All these desserts are packed with lots and lots of refined sugars. So, leave them alone, okay? Please don't forget to like this video if you haven't done so yet. It's very important. Do like this video. Thank you. In summary, in order to eat a healthy meal, let's say your plate of food is 100%. Ensure that 70% of your plate is vegetables, 20% is made up of proteins, and the remaining 10% is made up of carbohydrates. Trust me, you will feel full. It is never too late to start. So just start today. These are things I personally apply in my personal day life and I am seeing tremendous results. And that is the reason I am sharing all these tips with you. Put all this into practice and I assure you, you are indirectly treating illnesses in your body that you might not even know they exist. This is all I will be sharing with you today. Hope you found value in this video. Please like and share this video with your friends and family so that they can learn something new as well. If there is a food item I didn't mention, but you think we can cut down on it or eliminate it completely from our diet for a healthy well-being, please drop it down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. Stay blessed and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.